All right, we got this great Hot Wheels, and of course, the power isn't working very well. The battery's been charged. It shows it's like half full, but you push on the accelerator, and it barely goes. So definitely the battery's toast. So you pop this open and uh, unplug this special connector and pull the battery out. And this is the Power Wheels Gray Top battery. A new one of these is about $70 to $80 on uh, Amazon. And it's only, uh, it's only 9.5 amp hours. When I pick this thing up, I can tell it's a little bit too light for its size. So I know it's mostly empty. So what I did was bought a 20 amp hour 12 volt battery. It's still 12 volts, so it runs at the same speed. But the higher amp average uh, means, actually it's 18 amp hours, uh, 18 amp hour capacity means that it should drive for twice as long as the original battery. And it's significantly heavier too. It's also a different shape. Um, but I'm going to show you how to modify this to get it to fit in here. And how to modify the connectors. <coughs> Alright, we're going to try to get the connector out of this battery. The black plastic connector on the end here is a custom connector. We got to pull out. These we want to keep. So we got to break a little bit more off to get the other wire out. That's probably the resetting fuse right there. And these are the individual cells. And we need to get this connector out. out nicely and these wires are kind of glued in here a little bit so we're going to try to get them out as best as we can right, now it's starting to rip open so we may as well just cut it now he's having a wire that's ripped open all right so we've salvaged the connector so easy uh, connection now with the original equipment like the charger uh, we could have easily not used this and just put a new connector on that end and a new connector on the charger but we got this now so that's nice next step is to remove this plastic thing that holds the original battery and since the new battery is a different size and shape so let's just go ahead and unscrew this luckily it's just screwed in so that makes taking it out very easy Let's not lose track of the screws in case we need to use them. Right. Now let's see how the new battery fits. Pretty much pretty nice loose fit there. We're going to have to pack some stuff around it to make sure it doesn't wiggle. And we'll go ahead and put the seat cover back on here too. Make sure. Okay, that fits just fine. So now we got a 20 amp or 18 amp hour battery in this in this car here. We just have to secure it in here somehow, either with uh, maybe some uh, wood box or some really heavy foam or something. So we'll give we'll try a we'll look around and see what we got. Okay, so the battery. So I scrounged around, found some uh, just a piece of styrofoam for the bottom. Not that it needs it, just made me feel better. It fit perfectly in there, so I figured may as well stick it in. And then these two pieces of uh, really good high density squishy foam, actually self-adhesive. So I'm going to stick those to the battery on either side. And then those will go down in the sides. Uh, down in the sides here, uh, you can see some ribs, some plastic ribs on either side. And that's uh, to give a little extra cushion for the original battery. So we're going to jam those in there. 
uh, the cable that I got out of the battery I, uh, I crimped on some terminals on the end there and I've got the screws to attach right here to this battery and so both the connectors will join together uh, as they used to so it looks like it's coming together pretty quick Okay, so the battery's connected, the foam's in there, We've got these guys screwed down nice and tight, and it all fits inside. I'll take it for a test drive. And there's the test drive. 